Hello. We got uh, two viewers right now. We're gonna start this stream. Um, we're gonna continue working on what we were doing last night, which was uh, remaking my track uh, Psychic Themes from my first EP, also known as CDR from uh, Desire Records released in September 2010, almost 10 years ago. I lost the file uh, for this song, like the original uh, file, because uh, one of my hard drives died. And before I could get it fixed, uh, the person who was uh, supposed to fix it uh, just disappeared with my hard drive. So. I lost a lot of music from like the first three, four years I was uh, making music as rituals. Um, only a couple of uh, files survived because I had them backed up in uh, another drive or uh, like mega upload or something like that. Uh, and I have a, a tour coming uh, in May. Hopefully, if it, if it doesn't get cancelled because of the coronavirus. Uh, and I want to play this song live. And uh, we made a lot of progress uh, last night. Got all the parts down. And what I'm going to try to do today is um, make some arrangements to the song. And uh, I was thinking I might... Uh, try to, and look up the the sample uh, from the song, uh, which is probably gonna be hard. I don't know, um, but it's uh, something I wanna uh, try and do. So um, we're gonna listen to uh, where I left off last night. So let's check it out. <laughs> Thank you. 
I think the first thing I need to work on is the um, this synth. Which is uh, not quite right it sounds uh, actually pretty different i think not in, not not really happy with the sound of it this is the original track <laughs> different because for one uh, I was uh, saying yesterday how I made this track originally half uh, in Reason and half in Reaper so there are a lot of uh, effects on the synths that are not available on Reason so it's not, it's not gonna sound exactly the same plus this whole synth line is reversed uh, so, even though I managed to uh, get the the MIDI as close as possible, um, it's not gonna sound the same because it's just like random uh, notes reversed on the original track. You can actually, if you pay attention to this uh, sound, you can hear the like the reverse uh, decay, uh, like right before the, the note hits. <laughs> on getting that sound as close as possible to the original track um, I'm using Thor which is a synthesizer uh, in reason and I'm pretty sure I used a patch from this uh, uh, like preset back called Vengeance Thor sounds it. Um, it was a lead touch. Uh, but I uh, sounds so much heavier on the original track, so probably have to start over with. Uh, the effects, which I'm only using uh, 
stock reason effects because uh, that's what I used. Um, making this track like 10 years ago. Uh, back then reason didn't uh, support the VSTs, so everything I did was inside reason. Uh, then I had to export uh, wave files and import in Reaper and use other effects in Reaper, uh, which was cool but made things so much uh, more difficult to uh, manage. Because uh, if you lost uh, the Reaper file old or it got corrupted or something, uh, the song would never sound the same. And I lost both the recent file and the Reaper file, so here we are now.
think the distortion on that scene helps a lot. Uh, it's still not quite dry. Pretty sure it doesn't use one of the effects in Reason. Uh, it has the same uh, like weird uh, destroyed vibe. <laughs> Sounds pretty good. Um, the f first scene could also sound a bit uh, fatter, I think. <laughs> Thank you. 
so oh, I was looking uh, if we could find a sample and apparently there are a lot of episodes on YouTube and I'm not sure uh, which one it is but I know uh, it's an episode called Terror in the Night because I googled just now uh, but I have no idea which one can it be I know from the sample that uh, one of the kids is called um, Tori and Caitlin so if you haven't seen the show it's pretty good it's basically uh, kids with superpowers just like psychic uh, they can talk to ghosts and feel presences and all this weird shit I don't know I guess we'll have to watch. All right, Kendall, we're going to start tuning in and using all of our abilities right now to see what information we can pick up about the energy here. Got it. Got it? Uh-huh. All right. Oh, man. I think we're going to head upstairs first. Uh, yeah, this is Risa 9 in the background. So here we are. Trouble breathing over here. Okay. I do feel an energy over here. If you want to know more, pull it in, okay? Okay. Okay, um, should we go into a different room? Yeah, why don't we keep moving? Oops. Oh man, it's hard to breathe in here. Oh, I feel like there's an like an energy in here. Is this the same energy you were feeling from the other room? No. It's so weird. You can bring your attention to the top of your head like we've been doing. Okay, I think that's gonna take a lot more time than I thought. Well, apparently all the episodes are on their website. So I'll try to look up the exact episode. Which um, is on Facebook apparently. I'd go to put my clothes up and I get pushed into the closet and it would lock and it wouldn't let me out. And it was little and just it never let me out. One time I turned around to try and stop it. I put my hand in the way and it just crushed my fingers. My fingers are bleeding. I was standing in the closet and my fingers were just bleeding. <laughs> it wouldn't let me out. You can tell them, get away from me. They're not going to come and do that to you. No one's going to come and do that to you anymore. It just got colder. Hmm. There's a black sh Still trying to find this episode. Oh, it's from season two. Okay, making some progress. Ah, oh, shit. I think there's only one season on their website. Yeah. It's like a brand new season. What's on their website is not the same. Uh, it's the one from like 
Yeah, I'm not gonna find it. I know which episode it is, but I'm not gonna find it. So I just uh, keep working on this track without the sample for now. I'm gonna look it up on the weekend when I have some more time off stream. Um, and yeah, we're getting close. This I know this was a hard band to the right, which is an odd decision. But I didn't know what I was doing back then. <laughs>
I think uh, I think it's basically the whole song is done. Let's listen to it full. <laughs> Sounds pretty much as good as uh, it's gonna be. Hi, uh, I'm Master Crackish, uh, Metalocalypse reference. I actually had a radio show in college uh, called Master Crackish. Uh, pretty funny. Um, I think I'm gonna add a bass line to this song because oh. the original is like hyper saturated and pretty much unmixed it was just everything on top of everything and so it had a, a pretty good low end um, by mistake but I think it could uh, 
use uh, uh, a bass line. Maybe not through the song, but uh, definitely some parts. So I'm gonna try and do that now. So when you hear this live, it's uh, like on a sub. It's gonna be uh, pretty loud, like heavy. So uh, for this, I wanna use the same synth I use for the beginning of the song. It's one of my favorite patches. You can hear this in pretty much every song from CDR and Ghetto As Witch. play along with the track to see what I can come up with. <laughs>
is something like that, I don't know. I'm just gonna record it and see how it sounds.
Yeah, I like this. Baseline sounds pretty uh, dark and melancholic. It fits the song really well. But I don't know if it's gonna work. Um, going from this higher baseline to this. Let's find out.
think I like that one a lot better. Let's see if it works at the beginning. From here. <laughs> Cool. 
Yeah, I think I like it way more with the bass line. The only thing is this whole section, the kick is drowned in the synths and you can barely hear it. It's losing all the low end. <laughs> I'm gonna have to EQ it and maybe side it, chain it to the base. Hmm. Now this is the part that I, it's not that I don't like it, it's just so boring. <laughs> I wish I had someone to do it for me. Um, let's start with soloing this end. Yeah, I think we're gonna start, start mixing this whole thing, so I'm gonna just lower the volumes of everything and start with this. Shit, I forgot how to do this. Um, I think it was. Get rid of the second one.
this. Let's have a compressor here. And just fuck this thing. I uh, just reset the password. Uh, I never waste time uh, trying to remember any passwords, I just reset it every time. It's easier.
cool. I think uh, I like this a lot. I'm just gonna uh, turn up my headphones because when I mixed it, it uh, became way uh, lower. Can I do it from here? I think I can do it from here. Uh.
Nothing's pretty much done. Mm. Just gonna give it one more listen to see if I get, need to change anything. Uh, if you wanna really hear what's going on, turn up your headphones right now, cause uh, right around these parts explodes and gets gets really really loud. <laughs> Thank you. 
cool. I think it's done. Nice. Two hours yesterday, two hours today. We have a new 2020 version of Psychic Dance. Um, so I'm going to be playing this live. Uh, upcoming shows, whenever that is. Um, I have a tour in May. That I hope one get cancelled because of the coronavirus hysteria. Uh, so if I make it to Europe in May, I'm going to um, play this song live. Of course, this is just like a remake, and then I have to um, figure out which parts I'm gonna play live, uh, where I'm gonna play with a keyboard or uh, use a sampler to trigger the different uh, parts. Um, but yeah, it's, it's over. I'm gonna. I um, uh, think I'm gonna uh, export and upload this to my Patreon. So if you wanna um, subscribe to Patreon, it's Patreon.com/slash/rituals. You have it uh, right here under the mouse. Patreon.com/slash/rituals. There are over 30 tracks available right now for download. Um, rare, uh, unreleased, uh, tracks and remixes and hard to find tracks. Uh, maybe something I, uh, put out sometimes and <clears throat> it's hard to find it and it's not on Spotify or Bandcamp or whatever. And, um, yeah, so if you su subscribe to Patreon, um, you'll have all those tracks and this version I'm I'm gonna upload it uh, probably tonight. After the stream, I'm going to do some uh, light uh, mastering to it, so I can put it up on the on the Patreon. So uh, that's it for today. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll probably see you tomorrow. Um, I'm going to be working on. A different track. I still have to figure out what to do next. But thanks for watching. Bye.